Today we will be using 3D Bear and Doink to do our projects. This will be identical to using 3D Bear in any other location, except that you will be using 3D Bear over a green screen. Once you start a new project in 3D Bear, you can go to the Animal section, and here we can select the cow and place it on the green screen, and we can also place the sheep on the green screen. Now if we hold down the circular photo button, 3D Bear will create a video that will be then saved to the camera roll. Once we are in Doink, we can hit the plus sign in the top right corner, and that will make us a new project. Now in this new project, at the end of the top row on the right there, is a plus sign. We can hit that, and now we can import our video of the sheep and cow into the top row. Now if we scroll through the video, we can see that Doink has already removed the background of this clip, and now we will add the photo in the background by hitting the plus on the middle row, or the second row down, by hitting the same plus sign on the far right. Now the photo is in the background, we have a gigantic flying sheep and cow in the foreground. Let's make this a little more realistic. We can adjust the size, position, and rotation of a video. I can pinch it with two fingers to change the size, I can drag with one finger, and if I rotate it with a finger I can change the angle. Now that looks about right. Now we can take a quick peek through our final video. It seems good enough, so whenever you're ready to export any video you create in Doink, there's an export button at the top of your screen. If you hit that, the video should be ready soon.